welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back welcome back thank you so much for coming if you're new here you're so much welcome if you're old here thank you so much for jumping by and for jumping on okay i'm so happy to have you thank you so much thank you so much okay this is Petty's path this is my name is petra i i live and work for milan italy and on Petty's path okay we share experiences i for one i share my experiences and i pray that it inspires you it helps you it, it's fun for you okay it makes you laugh it makes you happy it reassures you anything okay i don't force anything down anyone's throat but i just pray that my experiences help someone somewhere okay take it as a form of, of a form of entertainment take it as um a lesson take it as anything you wish it's all up to you okay it's definitely all up to you thank you so much for coming again if you're old here thank you please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed what are you doing like subscribe i have so much juicy content coming up surprises yes surprises and if you don't subscribe you won't be able to know the surprises coming up and when you subscribe i realize that some people subscribe they don't press the little bell near the subscribe button when you don't do that youtube don't notify youtube does not notify you when i upload a new video okay um, I may upload and upload and upload things are coming up you're missing you're missing and you blaming me that you're not seeing them It's because you don't press the little bell near the subscribe button. So today I want to talk to you guys about Living in Milan like um, Just generally my experience. I like to share my experience with you and how things are in terms of cost in terms of maybe accommodation i will touch on that as well but if you, if you guys want a detailed video on accommodation because i know it's a very um it's a very much requested something for most people because before coming here i heard so much about cost accommodation and stuff like that and i felt quite discouraged but i came all the same so i would like to share my experience with you you might learn from it you might take it as fun or whatever like i said before it's not forcing it's not me coming here to force things down your throat it's just me being honest with you it's just me sharing my path with you sharing my experience with you and you have the choice to do with it whatever you wish whatever you want it's still definitely your choice okay so let's jump straight into the video so i have been living in milan now for um a year and almost a half okay over a year now i came here last year okay last year in august and we are in december now so it should be a year and um and what and four months okay almost a year and a half and it has been an experience guys it has really been an experience and um i would like to share with you guys and i will continue sharing okay because i know you guys want to know about it some of you guys may want to move here yeah, i'll give you my advice but again again it's not me forcing anything down your throat it's not me discouraging you the choice still remains yes so the first thing here is that if you come here as a student you're really going to not have a very much problem if you are actually already admitted in your school you have your admission uh, already cleared up okay it's going to be fine and if you have a scholarship as well most scholarships here given by the government they cover your accommodation and they cover your feeding and your school fees okay you might have to apply for these three things independently that apply for one and then for the other and then for the other and um some some unis actually give scholarships like they have their own university scholarships okay they give as well to foreigners one thing here is that scholarships are readily available for foreigners as well as for the locals okay that's for as as well as for italians so your scholarship might be from the school it might be from the government there are different ways in which you have to apply for this and most times you have the opportunity as well to apply for housing and for feeding okay i think they give you two meals a day if i'm not mistaken okay 
so you have to go personally i recommend you go to the websites of the unis you're applying for and find out if they are under the government scheme of scholarship or they have their own individual uni scholarships and then you follow the procedures that are there and you apply for your scholarship i think everything is pretty much straightforward okay do that yourself don't i will not recommend you going through someone to do it for you and stuff because it might get complicated or you might miss out on stuff things are changing every day i know what i'm talking about guys things are changing every day so it's good that you go there yourself keep up to date with the uni with the secretariat and you know what you are doing but pretty much if you have a school if you have admission and you have the Either they give you the scholarship in terms of they give you the money to find accommodation and feed yourself or they give you the accommodation and then you also benefit from the school canteen or whatever restaurant has been put at your disposal for you to eat two meals a day, okay? You can't, um, and I know you have to like eat the food there or something and stuff like that and you can't like, um, take money in terms, you can't exchange your food for money if that makes any sense. So if you have been given... The, the the chance to eat for free in a restaurant for example you can't go there and take the money you have to eat the food <laughs> if that makes any sense but then if you have a school like that in milan okay that gives you scholarship for tuition it covers tuition feeding and accommodation i think you would be fine already you wouldn't need to pay any extra cost i think you'll be quite you'll be quite um comfortable otherwise you might struggle a bit that takes me to my second point okay so the second thing is that if you come here as a student and you don't have any of these things maybe you just come and then before looking for for admission into uni and um, you don't have any of these scholarships i mentioned before you would kind of like struggle okay i feel like you will struggle for me i struggled so i know that probably especially if you're not from a well-to-do home maybe but if you're from a well-to-do home of course you can always call back home for them to send you money for your accommodation feeding and school fees okay but <laughs> that was not my case guys <laughs> I, I couldn't call back home okay for any of these things so you will struggle okay because it's quite an expensive city Milan is expensive it's one of the biggest cities in Italy if you're from Cameroon it's like um, Yaoundé or Douala if that makes any sense it's like Douala actually Yaoundé, I think I'll compare Yaoundé with Rome as the capital of the place but Milan is like Douala you know how life in Douala is it's quite expensive things are choked up everyone wants to be there because of the job opportunities available because they think they will make it if they are there so even Italians themselves are finding their way to Milan for greener pastures so you as a foreigner coming as well you can just imagine that there will be traffic it will be so much traffic for all of you to um you know combine and do and kind of like <laughs> i don't know how to put it for you guys to struggle together and really make ends meet so it can really be a struggle if you don't have a scholarship or any financial assistance from your family so i would recommend or advise that if you are such a person I would prefer you go to a cheaper city, maybe in the south or other cities a bit far from Milan because even neighboring cities of Milan are still quite expensive. Place like uh, Pavia, um, that a little bit still expensive because they are around Milan. But if you go far away from Milan, a little bit into the south, maybe to Naples, maybe to Florence, you probably find cheaper accommodation. But of course, it also comes to the fact that if you have to, as a student though, I would recommend that for you as a student because. If you are if you also want to have a job you probably not have, you probably not find jobs that regularly in the south of Italy if that makes any sense and my third point okay um jobs are pretty much easier to find in Milan and they are a little bit highly paid than jobs in other places um let's say a job that will pay you like uh, maybe a thousand euros a month in Milan will pay you about half of that or really like yeah three quarters of that in another city maybe in the south if not even less okay so um that's the reason why people come here in the first place so if you're looking for a job okay you can come here but bear in mind that the cost of living is comparatively higher as compared to other parts of italy okay as a student if you just focus on 100 percent school 
and no other thing unless your school is really really in Milan unless you have a particular interest in a school in Milan maybe the Polytech I think that's one of the schools that people really are attracted to in Milan especially for English speakers the Polytechnic of Milan is very amazing school unless that's really your particular attraction I feel like you should try other places okay and i'm in no way discouraging anyone from coming to milan no way it still remains your choice i keep repeating it it's still your choice you know yourself you know your pockets you know how far so <laughs> you better know how to choose but it's a pretty expensive um city okay so bear that in mind then the fourth thing is that if you're a worker okay you're a full-time worker you get your job in milan and you're paid well fine i feel like you could go with it start from there and see how you could improve okay because if you're working you definitely have the funds to accommodate the high cost of living in terms of housing in terms of um feeding and everything i know italy is still a very cheap country to live in with respect to other places from what i've heard from friends and stuff but there are still part of Italy like Milan, Rome that are still quite expensive, okay? And this thing about expensive cities and stuff, I feel like it all depends on how much you make and how much you spend, okay? Because that's what really determines how much you can how much you can save at the end of the day, okay? So because if you if you earn more and there's really no compensation for high cost of living, because I know some cities kind of like some employers rather compensate you for the fact that you're living in a high cost area, some employers do that. I really applaud them. I applaud them because some people don't, okay? Some other employers don't. They don't, most often they don't. The same salary you will get if you were working in the south, is which is cheaper, is probably the same you will get if you're working in the north, which is more expensive. And it doesn't make sense. It's not fair to those working in the north, okay? And so I believe that make your choice see how much you're earning and see how much you're going to be spending on all of these facilities you're receiving in, in milan and you know if you want to stay there or not if you find out that you are living you are making the money yes and you're still spending it on cost of living and stuff and you don't have enough to save then maybe you should go for a cheaper city okay where you can still make that same amount of money and spend less so you can save more again it all depends on your lifestyle okay it all depends on your lifestyle if you're more calm if you're more indoors if you don't spend lots on eating out on partying with friends on buying a lot if you're not a shopaholic you can still be able to save a, a lot okay you can still be able to zip in yourself um, deprive yourself of pleasure if you're someone who believes in delayed gratification like some of us you can still delay your gratification work now and enjoy later but if you believe that you should work in and enjoy at the same time it's fine okay everybody has the way they live life so i really don't judge don't judge you if you believe that way i accept everybody's different and variety is the spice of life okay so uh, is that here in Milan, they, there's a lot to do, okay, as compared to other cities. Like, I was speaking with a friend the other day, and he was like, if you want to spend money, come to Milan. Like, some people, this is a problem, they give money away, for way, way, they, they don't want to spend, and I spend, and they're like, who can chop my money? Chop my money, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> No, like you can chop my money so there are people who really have money to spend and if you're one of those you can really spend money in milan and at the same time if you don't have money and you don't have self-control you will still come here and waste your money on things that don't make sense okay it's a place where you can come and you buy something you see so many beautiful things to buy you buy them and at the end of the day you'll be like but Petra, what did i buy this thing like <laughs> like why did i buy this thing you know so it's a place where you need to have self-control you need to be that kind of person that you know what you want out of life you go for it you shouldn't be carried away by the fancies of the whole place it's beautiful there are beautiful sites the duomo is magnificent it's nice beautiful buildings the infrastructure is more modern than in the south of italy okay i've been to florence i think i was in florence in august it wasn't as modern as Milan is, okay, even Pavia is smaller, okay, and not really as big as Milan. The transport system is wow, okay, it's so nice. You can literally get from one part of the city to the other with 
in less than no time okay like i always tell you guys i live on the outskirts yeah, I live on the outskirts but i can easily get to the city center in about 15 30 minutes it's not really far okay i can get to central milan in half an hour okay because the transport system is really reliable okay so even if you're planning to live here and you can't really afford an accommodation in the center it doesn't hurt for you to go a little bit out of the center and have a place there from there you can commute to and from work or school in less than no time and be fine but if you don't really like want to be on the bus and the train and so on of course you know you have to pay for that you find a place right near your place of work or school where you just move and walk there is also advantageous you always be on time never late like some of us <laughs> you know so you just need to know yourself guys these things work for me it might not work for you but if you find yourself in this kind of situation and you feel like you want to try these tips i'm giving you um feel free go ahead and um, i really appreciate comments down below if you already live in italy let us know your experience as far as housing in your city is concerned as far as living costs and everything accommodation again i've not really talked about the details of accommodation but if you guys want to know about the real details how much what cost and what you can easily get and one of those that have i've stayed literally <laughs> if there's a word there's a term that is um if you can say a uh, house house prostitutes in quotes quote unquote like i've really changed accommodation a lot in the past one year okay because of one reason or the other something comes up something does not come up and stuff so i've really lived around i think i've lived in almost about 10 places the only place i really stayed in it was because of the quarantine the whole the initial lockdown it was i stayed there for unusually four months in the same accommodation i usually do like one two months and i change because it's all temporary accommodation anyway it's not like you can see our places here that you go and you stay just for a month or two even for two weeks just have to agree with your landlord you stay and you move okay you can still go for permanent accommodation if you want some landlords ask for a year guarantee and stuff but some don't so I have been moving up and down so i really know exactly i think i have a little bit of knowledge on how accommodation works here and if you want to know comment down below and i will surely make a video a detailed video on that okay as a student as well and you want a part-time hustle milan is a place where you can also get one easily in terms of little things you can do um even things you can do without having maybe too much of your documents okay you can still do things to make ends meet okay you can find it it should i right now post pandemic hustling for a job is difficult okay it's not as easy you know italy is not maybe as easy going as other european countries or not as um how do i even put it it's it's, it's just there you understand the hustle is still there you still have to find your way around stuff you still have to be hard working like i said in my was in my second video my third video life abroad is not what we think it is back home i was once there okay thinking that hey you have the hard work you can do and do okay you can still be hard working and you really still struggle and it's okay it's normal okay some things are just some places are just so difficult or sometimes life is difficult it doesn't mean you're not hard working it doesn't mean you don't have the strength or the will to do things it's just difficult and just be patient and do what you're doing and things will show up one day trust god i believe it's a combined strength in the name of jesus amen so in as much as you have to be hard working okay you also have to take things the way they come and do your best okay i'm not saying don't be hard working be hard working do your best but also realize that sometimes you cannot push beyond your limits okay so it's quite difficult especially right now jobs are hard people have been laid off people have lost their jobs companies have had losses and stuff people have even had jobs so why people are losing their jobs people are some people are, are gaining jobs some people are being employed so it is a bittersweet something and um i believe that everything works for the good of those who trust god okay whether good or bad it is for our good okay and in that light stay tuned more juicy stuff is coming up juicy stuff is coming more juicy stuff is coming <laughs> okay guys um i think um i think that's all i'm sorry i'm looking down i really wrote some points i'm reading from my from my book here 
and i'm sure i've pretty much said everything i wanted to say if i omitted anything i will definitely put it down in the description box do as you read it or maybe somewhere on the screen and if you have any contributions like before please drop them down in the comment section so we can chat please when you watch comment so i know you are watching so you can share ideas and answer your questions and i really appreciate video recommendations as well if you need if you have any particular video you want me to make please do comment down below and let me know and i will see if it's within my competence <laughs> and i will definitely make it for you okay thank you so much please subscribe if you've not subscribed what are you waiting for that means i've given you all this information and i'm not subscribing <laughs> please subscribe guys and share like comment and all that good stuff okay merry christmas and a happy new year in advance i love you all so much Bye guys!